here at Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris. This is, believe it or not, this is Tom Bailey's motor. I built this motor for Tom almost six years ago. Quite honestly, back for, for the old car, his very first car. And uh, this actually was at a time that nobody cared about Tom Bailey. Nobody cared because he wasn't dominating anything and uh, we were just, uh, uh, he was just getting a handle on everything and starting to learn what to do and what not to do. And uh, this was the first piece. Uh, this, so this motor is uh, basically six years old. Um, it's a 540 cubic inch. We did go through and we just freshened this thing up, made everything nice, and made it uh, uh, our current 1100 horsepower street pro charge package. And that's exactly what this is. We just did a couple of upgrades. There are new shelf stock camshaft. Um, we put in some new componentry just because this thing does have some mileage on it. So we just wanted to make everything right again. Um, but the cylinder heads, this is our stage, uh, our, our 1100 horsepower package. Um, that's why it even has the old valve covers on it, old intake manifold, blow through carburetor. Uh, every single item in this motor from block, crankshaft, pistons, uh, rods, camshaft lifters, push rods, cylinder heads, valve train has all been scienced out, is all done, and uh, all purchasable, purchasable right off of our website. This particular one had an F2 on it, um, and we can do it with an F2 if you'd like. We normally would do this with a little bit smaller blower and a serpentine for pure street, but uh, uh, this motor, the engine itself, is capable of more horsepower and with the F2, especially with the bell um, and internals. Uh, we did used to you know, lean on this motor harder, but uh, we've turned this just into the 1100 horsepower version. And it makes just a little over, over 1100 horsepower, as they should. On pump gas, street driver, daily deal, piece of cake, easy motor. Uh, this, like I said, uh, we're more than happy to build these engines complete for you. We can sell you parts and or kits for it. So, what we're going to do is, uh, like I said, this is a F2 540 blow through carburetor uh, on pump gas. Low boost, easy, easy piece. We're going to set the camera down and uh, video the pull and take a look at the numbers. Now let's take a look at the numbers. And like I said, this nice, easy streetcar piece, uh, we can make more horsepower. We're really spinning the F2 slow right now, but uh, that's all right. Uh, you can see right here, peak horsepower, 1167 and only 6700 RPM. And peak torque was uh, 958 at 5600 RPM. A uh, real nice, real easy piece. You can see right up here, and it just kind of lays over, but that's just because of the, the street grind camshaft we have. You don't feel that in the car anyways, but just starts to lay over here in that 7,000-ish area. Um, pretty decent-looking curve, you know, really good torque. Jumps right up there. I mean, we're at, you know, 3,500 RPM. 3,600 RPM is making 785 foot-pounds of torque. So, real nice pump gas piece. And, uh, easy easy combination uh, like I said everything's uh, available right here at Steve Morris engines and uh, oh you know what I think I will go back and uh, actually show you the boost curve let's see here I'm sorry go back over here uh, boost 3.6 pounds at uh, 3600 rpm and we get up to a grand total at 7,000 RPM of 16 pounds of boost. Um, not much timing in this combination. Another reason why we have a layover. I mean, if we ran it on C16 and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if we ran it on C16 and put some more timing in it, it makes more horsepower. Definitely get over the 1,200 horsepower area. Uh, but this is one real easy piece, and 
especially for something that uh, you know we built six years ago and just have gone back through and and uh, freshened up and made uh, our current you know uh, made identical to our current 1100 horsepower engine package so anyways I'm Steve Morris Steve Morris engines have a great day